I think when you're creating a character, you, you look at what the writer writes, and then you you kind of get, you, you begin to take the idea of the the personality of characters off the page, uh, and then that's that's kind of transferred into the design and the look of the characters, um, and how they will work, how the articulation of the puppet will work. So the, one of the great elements of the the, the pelican is is that or three elements in fact that we we emphasise quite strongly in the creation of these pelicans is the head, is the beak, is the way in which the head works of the bird, is the wings. The wings are those, that beautiful 2.5 metre average span of the bird and how they work. Um, and the feet, the beautiful feet and the waddle of these particular birds. So we really e express and emphasise those elements within creating these creatures. So that al already instantly gives a personality. And then you try and identify a separate personality and a separate, um, uh, I guess, a, a, a physicality that might say Mr. Ponder is a little bit like this and Mr. Proud has a, this kind of personality and, and per Mr. Percival is like this because he has his idiosyncrasies that give him that particular quality of character. It's important that we give an intelligence to every character and the intelligence is, you see it in an actor, sometimes maybe not, but the intelligence is really, really important in bringing alive a puppet character. Uh, the breath, being able to uh, shift out of the puppeteer uh, a breath that begins to ignite a breath within the character and give a life to that puppet. So a breath, an intelligence, a brain, the capacity for that character to be able to think and have its own, its own actions and its own decision making. And the, the particular aspects of what identifies that particular character, in this case the pelican, if those characteristics are not there, you've simply just got a sculpture. I mean, puppet theatre is going in amazing directions and, and you know, it's just the beginning of, a, of a, a new world opening up where the puppetry can become really, really central to the storytelling. Storm Boy takes us back to very simple techniques but explores puppetry in the most beautiful way.